Police bust a man for going on a costly rampage, causing thousands of dollars in damage in West Ebor. All news tonight, business owners saying more needs to be done to clean up the area, now undergoing a massive revitalization. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live to explain. Ryan. Dark alleyways, another major safety concern tonight. Take a look at the lack of lighting in the corner of this alley. The business owner here showing me tonight not one, but two alley lights that are currently out of order. This end of town is really up and coming. Jennifer Needle joining a small uprising of shops drawing attention to Ybor City's west side. And that was our whole goal is to bring families in here. But since opening her family's business one year ago, you'll notice that these obviously have been gone through. She's faced a few stomach churning moments. We've encountered some Homeless folks that have defecated in alleys for lack of facilities. Needle and her husband operate Mousetrap Escape on North 14th Street. She believes overnight people with no homes shift from Ebor's bustling central district to alleys in the West End. It has been a shock to us to realize what goes on at the 3 o'clock hour until maybe 8 o'clock when the buildings come to life. Concerns heightened after police recently arrested Ronald Cogman for a spree of vandalism. Police say he smashed out the window of this building now under construction and another on 7th Avenue. He's also accused of throwing a brick through a car window. I don't like to say that we're, we're nervous about this, but we have to be more aware. As more Ebor businesses expand west, Needle wants more attention from the city and police in the developing district. We really want to see an increase in awareness that these do exist, these alleyways do exist, and they're certainly, um, they can't go unnoticed any longer. And we checked in with TPD tonight on this issue. I'm told they have not seen an overall increase in homelessness in West Ebor and say that their homeless liaisons continue to routinely patrol this area. Live in Ebor, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.